Martha Alderson here. We're starting a new plot series and this is more um, a glossary of plot uh, terms. So it's an opportunity just to, to visit to, if you have a question about a certain plot term that you're not sure how to use or what it means. And today I thought we would use start with foreshadowing. It's one of my favorite um, elements in writing and I love it when I come across it in um, other people's fiction or in screenplays or movies and what it is is when you give a hint or um, have some sort of a foreshadowing of what will come later in the book because nothing can come out of the blue in a story. You can't have a story moving along and in the beginning you introduce all the characters and the problems and whatever and then in the middle all of a sudden have a brand new character pop up or a brand new dilemma or a brand new concept or whatever. It has to be organic. It has to come from what came before. So in foreshadowing you want to be able to know what happens at the end of the story so you can go back and give little hints, sort of embed reference references or, um, you know, introduce a character, even if it's just in dialogue or whatever, and so that the when that character is then introduced later in the story, it doesn't come as a surprise, but it feels organic, as though you have been warned ahead of time that this is going to happen or this person will come. So anytime you're working on an early draft and you come across something new, don't go back and rewrite it. Just make yourself a note that you're going to need to foreshadow, and then when you go back to do the next draft, you can do that. If you want more support, it's in my book, The Plot Whisperer book, and um, I talk a lot about foreshadowing and how to go about doing it and the benefits of doing it and some examples of it in the book. So I will see you next Monday for our next uh, term in our glossary series. Thank you.